Pulse School on realairculture.com is brought to you by Saskatchewan Pulse Growers, DuPont Ferguson Fungicide, and Nodulator XL. Scouting is really important for all diseases and all crops, um, certainly in, in field peas specifically, uh, like other crops what you'd want to do is pick about five, even better, ten locations within the field, try and vary the topography, check some hilltops, check some uh, lower spots, uh, check along uh, shelter belts perhaps, and um, one good suggestion that I've just recently come across of is to mark some of those locations in the field mark them with a flag or a stick or whatever and then come back about a week later maybe five days later under heavier disease pressure and that way you're able to monitor the progress of the disease at those same locations. Is sanitation important? Uh, sanitation uh, is, is somewhat helpful. Some of the disease will come from uh, the previous years or, subsequent, or previous years uh, uh, stubble or residue. Um, so sanitation is important, not maybe as critical as, as with club root in canola for example. Though. So what should we take with us to go scouting? Very good question. Uh, we all can't carry a plant pathologist in our back pocket, so there are some things I like to carry for scouting, not only for disease, but just for general overall scouting. Um, certainly the first thing I really strongly recommend is a, is a good quality, especially good quality, uh, trowel. Um, what goes on above ground is influenced by what happens below ground, and you need to be looking below ground for whether it's disease, uh, insects, to a lesser degree, perhaps weed control. Certainly a magnifying lens uh, helps out, especially if you, ha if you have eyesight like I do. Uh, the lens is good, again, for insects and as well disease. And newer technology, which is getting better and better, are the smartphones and uh, the ability to take a good quality photo right in the field and uh, either tweet it, email it, whatever the case may be, um, to somebody that can properly identify for you. In, in addition to um, taking the photos, what you want to do is also make note of where the photos were obtained, what part of the field. Um, make some notes either in the field or as you're leaving the field perhaps or in your vehicle, make some notes of, as to what you've observed. Um, and make some notes as to some, some things you're seeing in the field like perhaps some low spots, perhaps uh, uh, some knolls, some issues maybe where a pipeline's been run through the field, you've got some different soil going on in that kind of an area. Just make note of, of what might be different that would be influencing what you're seeing in terms of disease in that field. So you mentioned taking good quality pictures, do you use that in monitoring the disease as well? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you can do it a number of different ways, as mentioned. You, you can um, uh, send a photo off for identification purposes or for some guidance from another colleague or agronomist. Um, it's also another way to monitor the field, um, put the flag in the field, take a photo of that uh, group of plants, come back a week later, take the same photo. Especially if weather conditions aren't that great to being in the field, you can take a look at it on your, on your laptop at home. One suggestion though, I, I receive a lot of photos that are a close-up of the plant itself, one single individual plant or perhaps even a leaf. But what really helps out with diagnosis is if you can take a photo of the individual plant or weed, move back a little bit and take maybe a photo one square meter in size, move back a little more and take it maybe 100 square meters in size and then take a, an overall shot of the field. That helps an agronomist to better determine what other factors uh, might be going on in the field that would influence the level of weed control um, or disease control uh, or insect control. And would you want us to get our shovel load as well and show a picture of the roots and what's going on under there? Absolutely. Plant roots are as important for diagnosis as the leaves um, are. So, yep, um, if you see something on the roots that don't look normal or you're not certain, then absolutely take a picture of those roots as well. And uh, if you have a little ruler with you or if your, your shovel's got inches marked on it like mine does, then put it beside there just to provide some perspective as well in that photo. So, Egg Photography 101. You got her. <laughs> Thank you.